What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Moon Food 78, and uh, I'm just making a quick video here to uh, just tell you to subscribe to my channel. I know the videos are rough around the edges. You don't have to tell me, although you can in the comments section. Tell me how rough they are and how you don't like them. Or you can just tell me that uh, they're wonderful. I'd rather have you do that, but even though they're not, and I know that. But they are what I can do at the moment, and that's what I'm going to do. So, here's a quick look at my AR-15. It's a Stag Model 3, which I switched out all the furniture myself. It came with A2, an A2 uh, stock, uh, regular magazine, which I have a, I have a ton of mags. Anyway, I did have this all black, so that's why I have some leftover parts. I put all, this, all the furniture that came with this, I put on my girlfriend's, which was, used to be my M&P 1522. I painted it purple and camo snow purple camo I don't know I just did it all girly for her she likes it and uh, maybe I'll do a video on that show you that because I, I think it's pretty cool and a uh, 22 rifle is something else you should own if you shoot a lot there's a lot I did to this this model 3 comes with a diamond head rail system it doesn't come with these bumpers. These are sold separately. All these are sold separately on the Diamond Head website. So you can customize it the way you want it. You can put a rail here, bumper up here, all rails, all bumpers, whatever you want to do. That's how I have mine. Bumpers on one side. One bumper on the front. Small rail on the front for a light or a laser and uh, the sights the diamond head battle sights which were not cheap but I spare no expense when it comes to aiming so uh, I, I really like the, the Troy style sights with the diamond And uh, I thought these were a good alternative. They had good, good recommendations on websites and uh, forums for these diamond head sites. So I picked these up because they went with my diamond head rail, and I figured why not. Also got a uh, BCM gunfighter charging handle, which I didn't make this AR-15 too tactical. I wanted to make it more practical, if that makes any sense. Alright, I don't need a bunch of lasers and lights and bipods and fancy uh, compensators. Maybe I do need a optic, like an EOTech or an Aimpoint, but I just can't justify spending five hundred to a thousand dollars on an optic at this moment in time. I'd probably take that money and buy another handgun or a used rifle of some kind. That's my problem. If I have that much money, I probably won't waste it on an optic unless I have twice that amount. I don't know, but here the that's the problem with guns. You can never stop spending money on them. Their money sucks in a good way because you get to work on them yourself. If you're buying these things and having someone else put them on for you, then just, I don't know, stop. Practice. Take it apart yourself. Get to know your weapon. Um, 
What else did I want to talk about was, uh, yeah, just subscribing to my channel. My videos will get better as I uh, get into editing and get a better camera. And as you can see in earlier videos of mine, I'm shooting outdoors. That's land that my family owns, 25 acres. I'll be doing that some more, shooting these guns that I've showed you in my videos so far, plus this, plus more, plus friends, plus their guns. So it should be fun. Subscribe. Forget about me because I might not have a video up in a while. So, uh, you know, I'll pop up. Keep trying to make things better. Trying to stop messing up my uh, my terminologies for clip. It's a magazine. Try to stop messing up terminologies and get everything right, and uh, you know, just give you my personality along with views of my gun, my guns. But uh, one more. Gonna show you one more, I guess, real fast, really quick. See where we can hold that. All righty. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and show you these guns at the same time. But there's my AK. It's a Wasser 1063. It's a GP 1063, so it's newer. Not a, as much mag wobble, they say, anyway. Uh, pretty, it's about the cheapest AK. It doesn't scream quality AK by any means, but it does scream AK, and it is reliable. I, I've shot it. Uh, I shot only steel case ammo through it, and it never had one malfunction. Because, guess what? It's an AK. And uh, it had wood furniture. It came with all wood furniture. I put a Mako stock tube on it. Because this thing, that the a ATI stocks that came with, this folding stock, was just big, too big and ridiculous sticking out on the end of that. It was just, it was ridiculous. And I couldn't fold it closed with a uh, scope mount on the other side. But I kept the stock because I like the stock and the pad. So I just put the stock on this Mako tube. It doesn't fold anymore, but who cares? I don't really need a folding wasn't really looking for folding. I was looking for adjustability because the wood stock is so short and it doesn't have any kind of padding on it. The grip is that was an extra, I guess, bonus for the uh, stock package because I do like the grip. Even though I like the grip that came on it, small Tapco grip. I like the way this feels in my hand, too. I like them both. But, uh... In the scheme of keeping the color... I, I'll just keep this on here. I have a mag that I painted because I got bored one day and I had a leftover tan desert paint, so I did that. And it came with two mags, so I still have a black mag. The uh, ATI handguard is good because you still get this, no rail. You can still hold on to this, you can still hold on to the mag. And the added option of putting a foregrip on my AK was the main purpose of me changing out the whole stock and furniture because I, I like my grips on my combat-type rifles. And we got a rail up here for an optic 
rails on both sides, short rails on both sides for lights or lasers or whatnot. Uh, yeah, so this is a Wasser, Romanian Wasser, made in 1966. I guess that's when the receiver, most of the parts were made. And uh, I love it. I'll get another AK one day, and it won't be a Wasser. So I can say I have, I want one with dimples. It makes, it might not be a big deal to anybody out there, but I kind of like the, the classic look of an AK, where the dimples are next, uh, over the mag well, or over the mag. So I'll probably buy one of those and keep it all wooden, maybe stain it red, or uh, some other kind of color, dark wood furniture. But for now, here's my AK, and that's that's all I got to say about that. Just uh, subscribe to my channel. You'll keep seeing guns like this, and in the future, I will have shooting videos with uh, plenty of targets being destroyed and plenty of gunshots ringing. So, uh, Moon Food 78. Thank you. That's it.